Hey guys, so today I'll be going over how I use Jack Weston passages um, to score a 516 on the MCAT. Um, it wasn't the only thing I did, of course, but it, it was um, solid practice that, that made a huge contribution to that 516. So let's first um, share my screen. Okay. And so let's go into Jack Weston. So this is um, basically the the main page uh, that that you'll that it brings you to. Um, you'll want to go into practice Khan Academy passages and uh, just loading uh, with these Khan Academy passages. These were developed with the AMC and uh, they're excellent practice for the test. They're pretty similar to the style. Um, one of the drawbacks initially was Khan Academy released this um, only through their website and their formatting was was a really off. You could only do like one question at a time and, and get the answer to that single question. Um, the formatting was horrible, but Jack Weston um, published or they, they supply the Khan Academy passages for free um, and their formatting is much better. So for instance, let's go into chemistry and okay, so it's just loading. Oh, here it is, okay. Um, so Let's go into the first one. Now, notice how it brings you into a whole new window. All right, and the trick is you'll wanna maximize it. And then, let's move that. So, then we go back to our main, our main window, open up a second one. And uh, we'll maximize this one. Then, uh, you know, you can do as many passages as you want. Maximize again. And so now we have three passages. This one's still loading. Yeah, so three. Um, now, I already did these um, when I was studying for the MCAT a few weeks ago, a few months ago. Um, and but you'll see the number of questions per passage. Um, so each one has five. And what you're going to do is um, you'll just tally up all of, all the questions and then multiply it by the time per question to get the total time. And so. I'll go back here. I will now share my iPad. All right, so now we have uh, this screen set up. And uh, basically, if we're gonna do these 15 questions, um, for the coronavirus update, you have 76 minutes per 48 questions. Um, and then we have 15 questions. And that comes out to 23 
0.75 minutes per question. So the 0.75 is, um, that's 3 fourths of a minute times that by 60 seconds per minute which of course gives you 45 seconds. So you'll have 23 minutes and 45 seconds to complete 15 questions. All right, it's pretty basic. Um, if you, uh, you know, the 76 per 48 to give you um, an easier um, number, um, for you to, to replicate more often, you can just do 1.58 minutes per question. That's the same thing as the 76 per 48. And, um, but this is only for the science passages. The CARS is um, basically the same time per question as you had before the coronavirus update. Um, so but just keep in mind the 1.58 is just for sciences. So now uh, the trick is, we'll go back into screen. What you'll wanna do now is uh, put the timer on and we basically just put 23, um, Okay, so zero, zero, 23, and then 45. We'll save that. And uh, actually, I usually give myself, I add, um, usually add, so the thing is, I'll, it'll make more sense in just a minute, but I add a few seconds to the first few screens so I'll do 23 minutes, 40, um, we'll do 50 seconds, save that. Then you go to the next screen, add time, 0023, and then I'll put in um, about 47 seconds. So two more seconds than what we first calculated. And again, you'll see why. And then the last screen, you'll have the same time as you originally calculated. And that will be 23 minutes and 45 seconds. So why I add, um, this is the original, why I added a little bit to this one and then to this one is because you'll first, now you'll go all the way back to the first screen and now you have to move fast. So you'll hit play, play, play. That starts the timer for all of them. And now you'll see we basically started at 2345. And then you just answer all the questions. And then, so you do all five. And then you go straight into the, to the next window, all five. And um, yeah, you basically just do next, all five the next one, all five. And then when you're done, you just pause. Um, you, you need to finish in time. If you, if you finish um, after time's up, um, if you don't finish in time, then you, then you can't you know, include the, the ones that you didn't finish. You, you have to be super strict with your timing. Um, even, you may even wanna like take off a minute when you're calculating the time. So instead of having the, the 23 minutes and 45 seconds that we originally said, you may even wanna go 22 minutes, 45 seconds, just to you know, make sure that your timing is um, proper. Because it's, it's, that's basically the main thing that you're trying to accomplish, your timing, um, the feel for the test, um, 
you know, it's, it's not just knowing how to take the test. It's not just being able to critically think. Um, a huge aspect is um, thinking fast and uh, knowing how much time you have per question. You'll start to get the feel naturally. Um, and you just have to bang out as many questions as you can each day. And so this is, this is basically my method um, that I used to get, to get in a lot of, a ton of questions. Um, this is AMC um, developed questions. And so it's, it's solid pra practice. Um, so I hope you like this video. Um, and I hope this made it a bit clearer on, um, on how to use Jack Weston. Um, so thank you and uh, please subscribe and